So I've been playing around with this new app, which is called Leonardo.ai, and it's just another image generation, AI image generation tool, but it's far better than, for example, Midjourney. Firstly, with Midjourney, you have to go and you have to join the Discord server, right? And you have to write these prompts into your Discord server. Same goes with Blue Willow and all the other ones. But Leonardo.ai has its own app, so you can just access the app through your web browser. And it's quite handy. You can see that this was firstly, originally made for some gaming things. You know, as you can see from all these creations, it's like the things for gaming, all these like models and tools. But of course, internet being internet, they just moved over to the whole package, you know? So what do you have to do? You just have to create yourself an account by clicking on this button. Then you just have to launch the app, click on this, yes, I'm white listed. And then you will land onto your dashboard where firstly you can see some of the recent creations that other people did for their work. Now I'm into print on demand business for a long time and I just love it because well I don't have a lot of risk you know I don't have to like ship the items I don't have to print the items I don't have to deal with the customer service all I ever had to do is to create the designs and then use the platforms like printful.com and like Printify or Redbubble. All of these are good. And of course, you can just try out all of these and you can see what works for you. But print on demand is a really great thing. Sometimes I use Etsy.com in order to connect to Printify. All in all, it's a good business. I have like my own work, my own job, which is like nine to five, maybe less, but this allows me to have a side hustle for myself. And as I've told you, I don't have to keep inventory. I don't have to keep these shirts, film cases, whatever. And then I just can get some side money for myself just for creating these designs. And that is exactly what I used Leonardo for the last few months. And trust me, it is really good. For example, you can always like search through these creations. Like for example, if you like this one and you can always save these. So for example, you can just favorite these. You can like these, for example, as you can see this like heart button and then you will save this creation. And what else you get with this is that you get the prompt that was used in order to generate this one. So if you wanted to make a t-shirt out of this design, let's say, all you got to do is to copy this prompt to copy this prompt. And of course, this negative prompt. And then you just have to generate with this model, you know, because this picture was generated with Leonardo Diffusion. And you've got many of these. For example, you have like all these models, as you can see, I've been playing with all of these. And as you play with them, they will just keep bookmarked here so you can see them. And you can see just for me, like copying the prompt and pasting, I get the similar image. So this would go very well with the bike and niche, you know, people who like to bike and all of those things. But let me just show you this on the left hand side here. This is not something that you can find on mid journey. So for example, you can choose the number of images. So whether you want to create one or eight, you can just click here. And I got to tell you, this is for free because you get 150 tokens. They call it tokens, whatever, and they will regenerate for you each day. So it's not like mid journey that you have to subscribe for Leonardo. You don't have to pay for because as you can see, these will reset each 24 hours and you will get 150. And as you can see, if I wanted to create two images, I will spend two tokens. All right. If I want to create three images, it will spend three of these. So it is totally, totally fine for you to get 150 in order to create your print on demand business. Of course, this will depend if you wanted to scale this like more or if you just wanted to make this for other people, if you wanted to use this for freelancing, maybe you should consider paying for a subscription to get more of these tokens. But if you wanted to run just like print on demand business, you don't have to. Here you can see you can just change like the image dimensions. This will spend more tokens as well, but this is the highest one. And what else is capable is that you just move the image. So for example, you can make the image from an existing image. So for example, you can take a photo of yourself and make a, I don't know, cool Pixar art of yourself or someone else. You just have to do a bit of prompt here. And let me just, for example, show you what happens if I choose another model. It's a whole different story. Let's 
just go with RPG 4.0. So if you just change the model, the whole style is gonna change. So maybe you will have to spend a bit of your time like playing with these and see what works. For example, as you can see, this doesn't work at all. You might have to like change the prompt a bit, but if you use, for example, the same prompt and the same model that was used in order to generate your inspiration picture, you will get a similar result. So you can do this this way. You can, for example, search for these recent creations. You can just head over to these fine tune models and then you can just see what other people are doing and you can just draw the inspiration from that. So for example, on community models, you can search, for example, if you wanted to make a certain patterns, just type in pattern and you will get like all of these patterns that are available and I don't know I just like this Memphis pattern I try this one and you will get all the images that were created using this one such as this one as well so you will just get all of these models that were created by using this one so for example this one is really good you can just copy the prompt generate with this model and then just paste the prompt in there click on the generate and you will get the similar result it's never going to be the same result you'll just get something similar and that's good as you can see here now if you wanted to make patterns i found this useful so tiling you know tiling is something as you can see it is ideal for repeating textures or backgrounds so just have a look at it now so i'll just skip this for you as you can see now you've got like more similar to that style that we're after you know so in all honesty i actually like this one so all you have to do now with this one is you can just download the image to your computer and then just choose like i don't know for example i just use redbubble right now to show you how you can actually like make really really simple thing and get these like trendy items that are selling really well for example on etsy so what I've made recently and what I've made really good money on are phone cases and on Redbubble, as you can see, these phone cases, all you have to do with this one, you have to go and choose the pattern on a regular grid. And as you can see now, this phone case is really, really good. As you can see, it looks really beautiful. You can do this with pillows as well. Just remember to choose this pattern to a regular grid and you can just make these like pillows, phone cases, t-shirts, basically whatever comes to your mind. And then of course, just set up a shop on Etsy if that's your like place of choice. Alternatively, you can just use Amazon, eBay, whatever you want. But the thing is that you connect your store to Redbubble or Printify or whatever you want to use. Of course, all of these platforms will give you the suggestions. They will just give you the tutorial on how to connect your stores to the print on demand business. And once you do that, well, you just have to create more and more designs. And what I love about this is that, for example, you just create one design such as these like sunflowers and you only do it once, you know, and then it can be sold numerous times. That is just some sort of a beautiful passive income for me. And you don't have to do a lot unless you feel like it. So I don't know, I don't have to create for one week and I still get some portion of that money by just selling these items that I made before. And that is a really good thing to have. Now, I got to tell you, and I just got to be completely honest with you. It's not like get rich overnight scheme, you know, something like that doesn't exist. You have to work for it. You have to play with Leonardo. You have to go and make and choose your platform of choice. It's not like so, so easy that you just go and paste these prompts and then you just like get a lot of sales. You get thousands of dollars each single week. It's not going to work like that. It's say work. You got to work hard. You know, you just have to invest time and effort in order to create these. And I mean, it's just like any other work. You have to be dedicated. You have to be consistent. Or maybe you can just invest a little bit of your money if you are at that point in your life. You can just hire someone else to do that for you and you just get the profit from it. All in all, it's a good business model. And Leonardo is free. You don't have to pay for it. And it's easy to use. Anyone can use this one. So that's why I wanted to share this with you. So some of you out there might want to give it a try and you might end up getting some really, really good profit from this one because it's possible. You know, it's the content creation world. Everybody wants to buy something. It's easy to spend money on your phones, on whatever. You just have to make something that people like. So 
be creative use leonardo and just be consistent with it wish you good luck and happy selling i'll catch you